based in this building in Edinburgh, it's the Scottish head office for Lloyds Banking Group. We get about 50,000 visitors a year and we get around 4,000 young people visiting with schools every year. But our visitors come from all around the world. It makes it a really interesting place to work. Furniture House at the museum, managing everything relating to what goes on Furniture House here. It's a really, really interesting job because I get to meet people from all over the world, all different walks of life, so it's really, really interesting. I actually started in the bank way back in 1990, so a long time ago now. And I joined the museum in 2006. It has been great being here and every day is slightly different because you never know who you're going to meet or what you're going to be involved in doing that day. Some of my job involves ordering some of the stock we have here in our museum. Most importantly, meeting and greeting all the visitors that come through the door and welcoming all the different school groups and scout visits and colleague visits that we get here at the museum. So it obviously encompasses a lot of skills which uh, you just find yourself doing on a daily basis from being first aider to having to deal with the health and safety within the building, dealing with different maintenance issues in the museum if lights go out or something happens making sure everything's in place and fixed as quickly as possible to liaising with different visitors and uh, lots of different people that just come through the door uh, with lots of different requirements so it's a really really good job and very worthwhile in fact so much so it sometimes doesn't even feel like working it's just so enjoyable. My name is Darren Gilmore, I'm a cabinet maker, uh, trained in Edinburgh uh, from 16. I've been in this game now for 23 years. Um, I'm currently working at the Museum of the Mount up in Edinburgh and we do a lot of these casements, bits of the objects, put on the inert panels that don't destroy all the artifacts that are behind them. So there's actually quite a lot involved in this sort of industry and I'll hopefully follow my career here for the rest of my time. outside of the museum and speak to groups about what we do and the history of the museum and some of the artifacts in it. I also do work with older people's groups, scout groups and I run our social media as well. So I do five posts a week and I also do articles internally as well so about the history of some of our artifacts, history of the building, all sorts of things. But one part of the outreach I do involves these things here. So this is a memory box and this is designed for people with dementia and with memory loss. So the whole idea is there are articles in here dating back 40, 50 years and also questions. So you can go into say the bank and there's a person there that will ask you about using all types of money or there's a um, that we have. We've got a little flamenco dancer so that asks you a question about the holidays. So it's just a way of sparking memories for people who maybe don't have such a good memory anymore and so we're starting a conversation with them. So we do all manner of things like this. Um, 
exciting moments. I'm also doing things for Doors Open Day, which is an event we have coming up in a couple of weeks' time. I do tours as well, because I used to be a tour guide in past life. So all of my work is really about communication. You've got to be quite clear, you've got to be direct, you can't use jingly language. So it's about getting as many different types of groups into the museum, making sure I'm really clear in what I'm saying to them, and making it interesting for time. 